Many people have asked, how does Tahitian Noni International measure up against the leading companies of the world? To find out, we asked Griffin Hill Consulting to do an exhaustive three-month research on the Inc. 500 list. And the conclusion? Griffin Hill Consulting stated that TNI consistently outperforms the Inc. 500 in terms of revenue growth from inception. Is this really true? Is TNI really outperforming other Inc. 500 companies? Here's a list of the fastest 10 growing companies in the last 20 years to make the Inc. 500 list. And as you can see, TNI has outperformed all others during their first five years. In the past 20 years, there were over 9,000 companies that made the Inc. 500 list. And where does Tahitian Noni International rank on this list? Tahitian Noni International was number one. But we wanted to know for sure how we measured up against all the other leading companies in the world. So, we asked Dr. Scott Baird, CEO of Griffin Hill Consulting, to do more research and compare our performance beyond the Inc. 500 list. We asked them to take the Fortune 500 list, the Fortune's Global 1000 list, and the Forbes 500 list and analyze those companies to see where we stood after seven years of growth. Here are some of the results of that study with the figures adjusted for inflation. Pepsi took 36 years to reach $227 million in sales. Coca-Cola took 52 years to reach $59 million in sales. Pepsi went bankrupt twice in their first seven years, and Coca-Cola sold for $75,000 in its fifth year. Let's show you where TNI was in relation to these companies. After only seven years, TNI was at $467 million in annual sales. Now, let's look at Walmart, the largest company on the Global 1000 list, and also IBM and Xerox. Walmart reached $189 million in annual sales after their first seven years. IBM took 28 years to reach $123 million in annual sales. And Xerox, after 44 years, was still at only $73 million a year in sales. How about Microsoft, Starbucks, and Reebok? It took Microsoft 10 years to reach half of TNI's sales in seven years. It took Starbucks 17 years to reach 62 million in annual sales. And Reebok took 25 years to reach only 23 million in annual sales. How about Disney, Boeing, McDonald's, and Nestle? None of them can compare with the growth of TNI. How about Sony, Nike, and Marriott? Marriott took 36 years to reach $400 million in sales. TNI has grown faster than all of the Global 1000 companies that you see here. So the question arises, has anyone in all of modern history, whether worldwide, public, or private, ever grown faster than TNI? The answer is yes. Google, FedEx, and Intel are the only companies in modern history, public or private, that have grown faster than TNI. Let's show you the top 20 list compiled by Griffin Hill Consulting of the fastest growing companies in modern history. Number one is Google, followed by Federal Express, Intel, and then as number four, Tahitian Noni International, followed by Sony, Walmart, Nike, Microsoft, Marriott, and McDonald's. Now, let's look at another comparison. If you look at the growth of the Fortune 500 companies and average their growth for 2003, they grew 3%. How did T&I do? They grew 10% in the same period. We grew more than three times the rate of the Fortune 500 companies. So, to answer the question we asked at the beginning, how does Tahitian Noni measure up against leading companies of the world? To quote Griffin Hill Consulting, there are fewer than five companies worldwide in modern history, public or private, that rival the hypergrowth of Tahitian Noni International. In 2004, Tahitian Noni International is the fastest growing private company in the last 20 years to be on the Inc. 500 list. In summarizing, Dr. Scott Baird said, the Tahitian Noni International story is a rare phenomenon in the history of human enterprise. Scott Baird, I'm the chairman of Griffin Hill Consulting. We're a human and organizational performance company and we specialize in issues of market research. The Tahitian Noni International story is a rare phenomenon in the history of human enterprise. In 2002, we studied hyper-growth companies. We analyzed all the companies listed in the Inc. 500 list for the last 20 years. We dis discovered something quite remarkable. That if we looked at all these companies from their inception, meaning zero revenue, through their first five years of revenue, no other company equaled the hyper growth of Tahitian Noni International. 
Because we were so intrigued by those results, we were curious how the Tahitian Noni International growth would compare with both private and public companies. We took a look at the lists for 2003 of the Fortune 500, the Forbes 500, and the Global Fortune 1000 list, and compared those companies with the growth of Tahitian Noni International in their first five years. As a result of our research, using that as our basis, we concluded that there were probably fewer than 10 companies in the history of the world that equaled the hyper-growth of Tahitian Noni International. We have profound respect for Tahitian Noni International, so we were understandably honored when we were approached by Tahitian Noni International to be the arbiter of their $100,000 challenge. We had approximately 200 responses to the $100,000 challenge. Most challengers were distributors of companies that they believed in and liked very much. We invited each of those challengers to have their company submit financial statements so that we could compare them with the Tahitian Noni financial statements that had already been supplied to us, audited and certified. It's interesting to note that no company ever submitted financial statements to take the challenge. Particularly because any challenger who won the $100,000 prize would have had the additional benefit of being able to claim that their revenue growth was more rapid than that of Tahitian Noni International. The Tahitian Noni International challenge was no secret. It was announced in an open meeting by the company to all distributors. It was published on the company's website. Marketing materials were widely distributed. Media and press were informed about the challenge. Thousands of DVDs were handed out by Tahitian Noni distributors to the distributors of other companies. The challenge consisted primarily of two points. Revenue growth in the first 10 years of a company's existence and the payout to distributors. It is safe to infer that no company accepted the challenge because they didn't believe that their revenue growth and payout would match that of Tahitian Noni in their first 10 years. As a result of our experience with the Tahitian Noni International $100,000 challenge, we're left with the same conclusion that we reached after our initial research. There are probably fewer than 10 companies in the history of the world whose revenue growth rival that of Tahitian Noni International.